Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. In today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to draw a green-cheeked cornu. I've had a request to do this one. So you're going to need a pencil and a razor. You can either use a black pen, make sure that it's a permanent one so that it doesn't run when you put the watercolours on top, but I'm going to be using a dip pen and some black Indian ink. And also to colour it in, I've got a little travel pack, if I can open it, of watercolours. And I'm going to be using some watercolour paper, but you can use some thick paper if you like. Anything that you can get your hands on, as long as you keep on drawing. So let's get started. To start off, we're just going to draw part of the branch, and we're going to do this halfway through the centre of the page. So just lightly in pencil, just draw a branch just like this. Okay, now we're going to draw a circle just above this branch, so about here. My circle's not very good, I'm sure you can do a much better one. You can draw around something if that's easier. There we go, that's my circle. Now I'm going to draw an oval to the left of this circle, just slightly smaller. Remember, if you need to pause the video at any moment, please do, and then catch up and then start it again or rewind it however many times you like. So there's the head. Next, we're going to be doing the beak. So let's just draw a shape coming down like this, around like that. And then we're going to be doing a circle for the eye and then the outer eye, lines like that. Okay, we're going to be doing the neck now. So just bring a line down like so. And then the back of the neck like this and then bring it round to draw the back bring it all the way round to there and I'm going to join that up with this side like that now we're going to draw a feather of the tail so that comes down here draw a line straight down and then a line straight up and then we're going to do the other side of the tail, so a line coming all the way down and then all the way down like so. And then we're just going to show where the claw, where the talons are. So there's one there, one there, and then another one on this side, like that. And then we're going to just pencil in where the wing is going to go, so it comes around like so, comes around and then down. I'm now going to use my dip pen and my black Indian ink, but if you want to carry on in pencil, please do. I'm just going straight ahead and going into pen. So I'm dipping it in, making sure I don't get any splodges, although I can't guarantee that. <laughs> and then I'm going to start with the beak. So we're just going to draw the beak round like this comes round, up, little air hole here, like so, and then the lower part of the beak, and then some feathers, some feathers coming up. to reload. There we go. And all the way down. And then now I'm going to bring this down a little bit further because I don't think the body's long enough. And then I'm going to draw the tree branch just here instead. There we go. And then the feet. So here's one. And then two. Talons, quite long ones, and then the rest of the tree branch comes out here. It's the end of the tree branch, and then I need some more ink, and then the bottom of the branch. Well, it's more like a twig, not a branch, really. And 
then we're going to do the other one. So there's one there. And then one behind it. There we go with the talons. And then I'm just making this twig come a little bit lower than before. There we go. So next part is going to be the back. Going round, all the way around, coming around like that. Now going to do the eye. So we're going to need a nice big circle here. I do a little bit of reflection, colour in the circle, and then I'm just going to draw the markings around the eye. There we go. Okay, now back to the wing. Wing comes all the way down here. All the way. And then some little feathery bits here. Then we just bring just the tail down here. I really love using a dip pen and ink. I don't know why, but it just produces a really nice surface on the paper. It kind of sticks out a little bit more. And also, it's so dark, so black, and it, especially when you're using watercolours, you can really see the pen marking still. So I'm just drawing some more feathers down here running out of ink again. Yeah, the only downside is that you have to keep on topping it up, but I don't mind doing that. There we go, just draw some shadows down there. And then we're going to do a few more feathers. So a feather here, coming all the way up. And then, oh, need to top it up. <laughs> Another feather around here. And then another one. Another thing I like about using a dip pen and ink is that it kind of gets the adrenaline going because you never quite know whether it's going to splodge all over the place and completely ruin your artwork. Uh, but I like to live life on the edge. So, here we go. Just one little piece more and then we've almost finished. There we go. And then another one here. Fantastic. So, I'm just darkening the shaded areas just down here. There's the pen part finished of our green cheat canyon. Now I'm going to colour it all in using watercolour. So here's our finished green cheat canoe. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any suggestions of tutorials that you'd like me to do, please put them in the comments section below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you, goodbye.